the Lake Havasu City Gym and Mineral Society Mineral Sale. That's where we're going, but first. Hey dudes, and welcome back to Ellie Knows Rocks. Today I'm doing something a little bit unconventional. Last week, with my best friend, I managed to stumble into the Havasu Mineral Museum, right? When I walked in there, the ladies behind the counter, they had no idea who I was. But as I was about to leave or near the door, a gentleman walks in and says, oh my gosh, you're Ellie. And he points over to my fiance, you're Dan. It's Ellie from Ellie Knows Rocks. And he freaked out. It was quite adorable. The ladies behind the counter says, you know minerals, you know rocks. Well, before that, my best friend had let the cat out of the bag saying that I'm a geologist and I'm on YouTube and maybe I could help promote what they're doing or that kind of a thing. Anyway, so long story short, today I will be going to the Havasu Mineral Museum and helping them organize some of their minerals for their sale in the way of identifying the minerals that they don't understand. So this is going to be a brand new adventure. Thank you guys so much for joining me and let's go see what we find. where we're going today guys Lake Havasu Museum of History and then it says Havasu Rocks this is part of the Havasu Rocks lapidary shop which is down there which oops I forgot some geez, minerals in my car that I am supposed to take to the lapidary guy because he shares the minerals with me so it is only appropriate that I reciprocate uh, that kindness. So here we go. And we will see if they let me come on in and record. I hope this adventure goes well. <laughs> so this is part of the Havasu Museum. The London Bridge drawn on a really cool pegmented granite. Look at that plagia clay. Oh my gosh. But this has a whole little area I'm probably walking the wrong direction. But there's a little area here for kids and like a touch field table it looks like. And then look at this. Oh my goodness. Playing with magnetite. Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh. I could have fun with this like all, all day long. Look at this. Okay, now that I'm done acting like a child, let me just give you the quick runabout of the museum. They have some critters in there, some little geckos and lizards, which look really cool. Then they tell you a little bit about the history of Havasu, but I definitely started at the end instead of the beginning. But basically, you're getting the tour in reverse. They have a bunch of different things, histories, how the town was founded, stuff about the bridge, which I thought was really cool. And then they have a little bit of mining history as well, the stuff about the McCulloch chainsaws, the building of the bridge, the creating the channel. So I'm assuming I should have started probably over here with the mining in Lake Havasu. This is pretty sweet. A bunch of silver, let's check it out. <gasps> Look at that. It's pretty cool. Awesome, awesome hematite. This guy right here. These are garnets, guys. That's really, really awesome. And then this one, we've got some cuprite which is this reddish mineral. That's pretty neat. Got some malachite and other things. I've always loved these. These are the type of things that they would keep all of like the mining papers in and whatnot. Little tobacco tins. I wish I'd love to find one like that. Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be pretty cool. Look at that big old piece of elexite. Looks like selenite, but it's not. It's ulexite. It's got all these really long fibers in there. This is a really pretty piece of turquoise. I, of course, continued to be fascinated by all of the mining stuff, the crucible, the selenite, the milling ball, which I found awesome. Uh, the little weird little boat thing, which was pretty cute, <laughs> an old pan. And then the Native American stuff was amazing. The grinding stones, the old jewelry, pottery shards, 
these weird pin scribe things, I definitely have to figure out where I can go find one of those out in the desert. They look pretty neat. But if you guys haven't been to the Lake Havasu Museum and you live in the area, you definitely need to come check it out. And then here are some more of their mineral displays. So they have beautiful, beautiful pieces. stuff is donated and then they sell it. That's cool. Look at that light down with this. That's beautiful. When Frank the Rock goes around, we will uh and I'm gonna find some of these, hopefully. And they have slabs. Nice to see me, isn't it? Nice to see you. Oh, you're okay. Big bunch of rocks. Did you like that? Oh, that's a lot cool. <gasps> Snowflake like obsidian. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. Could I be? I was being wise. I thought, you know, that's when we're at our best. Okay, so that's part of the museum. And now we're going to identify some minerals and hopefully actually help. Oh, wait, here's a gift shop real quick. The gift shop is small, but it has a lot of stuff from a lot of local vendors in Havasu. So if you're looking for crystals and you don't want to stop by my Etsy store and you want to do something in person, go check out the Lake Havasu Mineral Museum. All right, now let's go identify stuff. They have 30 different boxes just like this of minerals that need to be identified. A scepter? Or is that just a crystal? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is a scepter, but the, oh cool. So this is, oh man. These are so neat because you have overgrowth after overgrowth. Mm. So you get these inclusions, which it cooled really super slow. And then it was like, oh, wait a minute, hold on. We're almost there, but not quite. And then it does it again. And so no, then in here, those little things? I'm going to check it out. Just in case I sneeze. So this is the same thing, right? Is it yeah, that's tourmaline. Is it? Yeah, so you've got some green and pinkish <gasps> tourmaline in the in the crystal right up top there. Did you hear that? It's Rose? too bad that it's not more prominent. And the funny <gasps> things that I always work with are those. I didn't see these yet. <laughs> what are they? This is corundum. <gasps> corundum, okay. These are, this is what rubies are made out of. Okay. How oh, cool <gasps> is that? Look at them. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, overgrowth scepter crystal with tourmaline. Okay. This is beautiful though. I don't have a clue what that is. This is turgite. So it's an iridescent form of gothite. I think that's aragonite. Rocks, lapidary shop and meet up with the person that recognized me when I was in the Havasu Museum gem shop portion. So let's see how this goes. Whoa. Hey dude! This is Steve. Steve is cool. Steve polishes rocks. No, I'm just talking to the stick in my hand. <laughs> yes, so say hi. Hi. <laughs> this is Steve. He helps to monitor. He is the shop monitor for the lapidary portion of this whole club. So. Can you get on the big mic? Hi, big mic. How He's are the you? the director of this show. So, the, the whole place has everything that you would need to cut, polish, or do all kinds of crap with rocks. So, I'm just gonna chat with him for a minute. So this is a wonder stone that Steve is polishing up. All right in here. That is so, so pretty. Wow. This is something I traded with him. So all of that happened about a month before the actual gem and mineral show in Havasu happened. And they have a ton of stuff going on here. This whole building was jam-packed full of people and rocks and mineral tables. One of the other things that they had there was this really cool display of people's personal collections or personal things that they created that I'm showing you now. 
Each one of these displays got to be voted on. They had a number in whichever one that people liked or were drawn to the most. You could vote on a ticket and then those tickets were collected and a winner was picked. I actually have no idea who won. I should probably at some point reach out to them and figure out who it was. But I put in my vote, so did Dan, and I wish everybody the most luck because they did a beautiful, beautiful job. I know that a lot of people loved this turquoise one. And I know there was a big buzz about the United States out of rocks. Plus I love the knives, oh my gosh. This big giant piece of halite I thought was really cool. It's kind of pink and white mixtured. Beautiful cabs out of all kinds of material, a lot of jasper there. And then walking around, I saw one of my favorite cabs. Oh my gosh, in love with the pink. Oh, I love Rosite. Check this out. Somebody was there cracking geodes open. Look at these guys. Crystals in there with little bits of pyrite, little pieces of hematite, even some agate banding and common opal. And check it out. They were cutting them open with one of those cool pipe cutters. This is the first time I'd ever seen this actually in person. So yes, I was fully enamored. And check out how cool they look once they're cracked open. I should totally get one, but I love my tile saw. These are awesome copper splatters, the ever favorite amethyst geode with some citrine that looks like it was probably reheated amethyst. If you heat up amethyst, it turns yellow and so it looks like citrine. Anyways, it's a thing. Beautiful septarian nodules, which are really cool. Mine didn't turn out that great. And check out this beautiful spinel. Holy crap, I would love to find something like that. If anybody knows where some stuff like this is in Arizona, let me know. And then we've got some Druzy Gem Silicate coming straight from Arizona. Awesome. That one's mine. Did you see the spinel again? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Good Lord. It's Gem Silicate. I don't want to, still don't want to hurt it. Jeez. I think some of my favorites are the tables of people that have hand collected specimens that they're selling on their own. Beautiful pieces, these are all native copper, cool little geode. The minerals that are shaped are neat. I really like egg shaped ones if anybody wants to know. And then this stuff was kind of cool. It's Tiffany stone. I have never found anything like this before, but I need to. Tiffany stone in Utah. What is it? Tiffany stone. It looks like a rhyolite, honestly. Meeting the folks at this gym show, plus the club members was just an absolute joy. I had a blast. And then to wrap things up, I bought myself a beautiful piece of cubic fluorite. And that was it. Hi, we love Ellie. <laughs> Did we say we love you or love Ellie? No, Yo, you can love me. Love Ellie. Thank Bye you. guys. Bye. You're Have so welcome. Day.